Hi, Aline. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer stage 2 in January this year, and 99% of the time I eat watermelon and strawberries, and I'll treat myself to a smoothie once a week. Oh, you consider a smoothie a treat? Wow, you, you're pretty hardcore. Uh, but there are times when I get cravings and will eat some pizza, which is very rare and I know isn't good for me. I have lemon water every day and drink four cups of the Heal All Tea by Dr. Morse every day, as well as water and other herbal teas. Okay, let me see. You were diagnosed in January this year. Okay, so that means you've had it for a few months now. I heard douching with the Heal All Tea is good, which I have done once. It causes major bleeding for a few days and some blood clots being removed. Do you think I should continue to do this one time weekly? And is it good for all the blood and blood clots being removed? So actually, you know, you are doing really, really well with your diet. That's excellent. Watermelon, strawberries. Um, I would focus on the most astringent of fruits for when it comes to cancer. So I would definitely be focused on grapes more than anything and lemons and limes more than anything because that will be pulling on the limb system the most. So that'll be busting tumors. If you have cervical tumor down there, any masses, that's going to be what you want to do. Um, as far as douching goes, you should be doing it a lot more often than just once a week. And don't be scared of the things that will be coming out because with that Heal All Tea, you have some excellent just heal all herbs in there. Oh my God, there's some beautiful herbs in there. And that formula was specifically created to be kind of like a douching formula to pull uh, down there on the vaginal wall, the cervix, all that stuff will be cleaned out. So uh, like personally, when I had endometriosis and when I had vaginal pains, I used that amazing formula um, during my detox journey and it was it got rid of the pain like that it got rid of acids i started seeing mucus coming out from there i saw like mucus plugs come out i saw some even some blood clots come out too even when i wasn't on my cycle so it is from my understanding and from working with the people that i have with issues like this when they start seeing blood clotting it's really just old blood so it's nothing to be scared about and in actuality that's something that you want to see and you want to encourage the body to expectorate just anything that comes out in the presence of that alkalinity and astringency from the herbs so that's really good okay um also i do feel the gi boom would be more powerful for me to heal myself and could you list everything i should be eating drinking and taking to heal myself completely as I will not be having chemo or radiation. Yeah, I recommend that. Do not have that. Uh, chemo and radiation will just further burn and weaken your body. It's like, it's kind of crazy how they use chemotherapy to try and kill the cells that are already weakened and dead. But in the process, they're also killing and weakening the healthy tissue of the body. So it's like, what do they expect to happen? Seriously, what do they expect to happen? And it's sad because the people that have been exposed to this, you know, due to trusting their, um, their doctors fully, years later, they get an even worse and stronger cancer in their body. So it's really sad. Um, just guys, do your best to stay away from that because it's literally poison. Uh, poison poison even people that are not into like natural med um, natural healing or natural medicine will agree chemo or radiation is poison okay so um, all your help will be greatly appreciated thank you so much and sending you many blessings and love 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 Marissa XXX kiss 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 thank you thank you kisses back to you okay so I kind of already said it right but if you haven't seen my cancer video or my cancer article, you'll want to read that and hear that completely to get a better understanding of what cancer is. But like I discuss in those uh, videos and articles, grapes, you want to be fasting on it. Now, I know you said you have cravings, but do your best to stay strong on this detox, detoxing of your cancer on this type of protocol do your best to be strong if i were you since it seems like you're having cravings for pizza you probably have like some parasites 
in your body that's making you crave these things, probably fungal issues as well. So I would recommend a parasite formula to help control those cravings, as well as um, taking a lymphatic and kidney formula. You should be seeing kidney filtration. I mean, that's going to be a no brainer. Um, there's no other way to eliminate cancer without seeing that kidney filtration. Um, I would take the GI broom as well. GI broom, since it's right there, you know, if you have a lot of acids, like cervical cancer is caused by acidosis, right? But if you have a lot of acids in that region, it's not far-fetched to for me to say you have a lot of interstitial lymphatic constipation probably in your colon. So it wouldn't be a stretch to say that you probably do have colon issues. If I looked at your eyes, I would probably see a rope, an interstitial lymphatic constipation rope in and around the colon wall, around the pupil. That's pretty common with people that have this type of issue. So I would be doing the GI room every single day because you could also be pulling on that area where the cancer is, you could also be pulling a lot with the herbs from the GI broom. And then you'll be doing the heal all tea douching every single day. And then you'll be doing like grape fasting. If I were you, I, I would go on a grape fast like today, maybe with some grape juice in there with lemons and lime squeezed into it and stay on that until as long as you possibly can, right? Until you can't take it anymore and then balance out a little bit like with raw foods. But whatever you do, try not to have cooked food, you know? Like like I tell all the cancer cases I've worked with, really just don't try to cheat. Because once you have like that, that one taste of cooked food, it's really hard to go back to raw. It's just really, really hard and difficult, right? And so I know that we don't talk a lot about the emotional aspects when it comes to healing issues like this, but it is also important. So if you have acidosis, cervical cancer, you know, that's part of the female reproductive system, you kind of have to ask yourself, what could have caused this? Was there an emotional root cause? Because I often find that sometimes the suppression of emotions can cause cancer, right? If you have suppressed anger or suppressed fear or suppressed sadness or, um, you know, like, like you didn't feel free to express your emotions at some point for, for an extended period of time, that could have also caused this physical manifestation. So I recommend doing kind of like like being truthful with yourself during this time. And with raw foods and fruits, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have found that that's very easy to do is being true with, with yourself because fruits and raw foods, they kind of like, if you're only consuming those foods, it's kind of really hard to suppress your emotions from coming up. So a lot of things from the past will become up, will come up to be healed and looked at again. That's very common. So yeah, with this fruit diet, just be here right now be present in your body and ask it body what do you want me to know what do you want me to heal you know and don't don't suppress anything that'll come up it might be i know it might be scary for some of you um but what i recommend is either talking to someone that you really trust about anything that may come up or you can talk to yourself through journaling or um recording your journey or um, listen to maybe like, I don't know, like some videos of like motivational speakers or, or even self-help books may help like help you get through these, um, through these times of like emotional detox. Um, I would one day like to record an emotional detox symptoms video as well as a physical detox symptoms video. I know a lot of people are asking about that, but it's like, I, I have a lot of topics to go through guys um, as well as all your questions, but um, yeah, just send love to that area and um, just realize that, you know, this is the new you and you're not afraid anymore. You're not afraid to speak your truth and to be yourself completely and unapologetically. And uh, yeah, that's what comes about with detoxification, which is amazing. So um, I think that was it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and another thing you can do that you can add to it is also doing a castor oil pack. So um, look up how to do a castor oil pack and put it right there on that cervical area and leave it on overnight. That'll add a lot of uh, alkalinity and will help pull on that lymph system even more. And don't be surprised if you see 
the gnarliest things coming out of you as you're healing this and um you'll do amazing you'll do a great job and uh, let me know how it goes keep me up keep me posted with that so thank you marissa sending love to you i'm gonna end this video with eating my two little grapes leave this video a like if you enjoyed my information guys and subscribe if you're new to this channel and like the information that i'm spreading and leave your questions and comments down below so i can answer it in the next video if any of you guys out there are dealing with something serious a serious issue serious illness or disease come to me there's no time to waste when it comes to issues like this that we spoke about in this video time is of the essence the longer acids stay in your body burning up the tissues the worse disease conditions become and you never want to wait around for something worse to come you want to nip it in the bud you want to address it right away you want to get your health back no matter what no matter what starting today okay guys so if any of you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, you can go to www.spirittropicalhealing.com and look at the services tab on my website and see what service uh, you're interested in and we can get you started on your healing path and um i'm so proud of all of you i'm really proud of everyone that writes into me saying that they're healing up their health issues and all these symptoms are going away and it just makes me so proud of all of you i'm really excited um what all of you guys are accomplishing so kudos to all of you and yes I love you all. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.